I'm trying to roast these chestnuts over an open fire. Ah! Chestnuts are a classic Christmas flavor. I mean, Starbucks came out with their new chestnut praline latte this year, and everyone was clamoring to get it. I myself have had it at least three times, trying to hold on to my Starbucks gold member status. So today, for day six of Shakemas, we are making a chestnut shake. This idea was also suggested by our viewer, Patrick Garrison. Thanks, Patrick. So if you've never prepared chestnuts like myself, you might have to look online and look on WikiHow on how to prepare it. Look no further, I'm gonna tell you right here. There are many ways you could do it. Obviously, you could roast them over an open fire like the, the Christmas song suggests. WikiHow suggests that you could also do it in the microwave if you cut them in half and then put them in the microwave on the potato setting for like five minutes. Or you could boil them, or I'm going to roast them in the oven. So to do that, each chestnut kind of has a flat side and a round side. It, says, it suggests cutting an X into each flat side, putting it down on there, sprinkling some water over it, and baking them in the oven for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Guys. I apologize. I forgot to put on my Santa hat at the start of this video. I apologize for the atrocity you had to watch up until this point. Now let's get going with the chestnut milkshake. Once you've got your chestnuts out of the oven, you peel off the shell and everything, you get them in a bowl here, it's time to get started. So you're gonna need some vanilla ice cream, blender, some peeled roasted chestnuts, some eggnog, and you're good to go. Scoop in the vanilla ice cream. Pour in your chestnuts, add a little eggnog, hopefully these things blend up, serve it up. Okay. Now some countries use chestnuts as a substitute for potatoes, so I'm not really too sure how this is going to taste, but here we go. It's not half bad. Um, if you like chestnuts, this might be the shake for you. I'd probably give it a two and a half out of five stars. Definitely an interesting taste. Um, give it a try. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like it, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thanks to Patrick for suggesting this flavor. Great suggestion. In the comments section down below, let me know if you've ever had chestnuts, and if so, what you use them for. Is it a tradition in your family where you just have them for Christmas? Do you have any special dishes that you prepare them in? Be sure to stick around for the rest of the 12 Days of Shake Miss coming out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of those videos. As always, there's always a reason to celebrate.